A lot of people get confused or think that VR headsets are a transition until AR glasses. Are we going to have both in the future? Are VR headsets indoor and AR glasses are outdoor? Is that how it's going to be well, divided? First of all, I'm so glad you asked because it gives me the opportunity to say I think they're both equally important for a very long time because of technological differences. Because VR glasses have infrastructure available. They don't have to be usable everywhere. They don't have to be something you can walk around the streets in, right? So their ability to let you do work would obviously be more powerful, right? I mean, if you have a wider field of view, you have higher resolution, if it can run longer, all these things. Um, <clears throat> the way I think of it is that air glasses are the thing that are always with you, except perhaps when you're using VR, right? It's the way your phone is always with you. So you could say indoors and outdoors, but you could also say indoors when you're out and about, right? I mean, like if you go over to someone else's house, you're not gonna bring your VR headset and put it on. So. If you think about it as the personal computer as the productivity device, and the phone as the always connected device, then AR in the near future feels to me like the successor to the phone. And the, the VR feels like the successor to the personal computer. And it is worth noting, you know, people rarely realize this, but you know, there are over a billion personal computers in use today. And they really are the productivity devices. So if you think about you know, that division, there are more smartphones for sure, and they're used more often, but personal computers are extremely valuable. And I think VR can be a better way to do the same work that you do with personal computers by quite a bit in the long run.